Ooh, let's go. What's up, guys? And welcome to the Modern Warfare 2 beta. Oh, man. I've been looking forward to this. I just got home from LA. Real quick, I just want to say thank you to everyone who came out to the YouTube live stream. We peaked at almost like 7,500, 8,000 viewers. We gained a lot of brand new subscribers. So if you're new around here, hello, welcome. I'm looking forward to entertaining you all of Modern Warfare 2. And as always, if you guys have been OGs around here, I love you. And if you haven't subbed yet, what are you doing? Subscribe. It's free. All right, let's just jump into it. First games of the beta. Still level one what map do we get give me something cool give me a good map this is my favorite map of the entire beta thank you oh let's go i'm looking forward to this if you were on the live stream you guys know that this ak whatever this is this ak-74u is like double kill. the best weapon in the entire game oh my god started off with a double kill i have a couple beta codes for you guys for the ps5 unfortunately it's only for the ps5 right now so i'm gonna throw them up on screen whoever gets it first there you go here we go what were you doing, man? Wait, is this an enemy? That's an enemy! My teammate was, like, through the wall, so it gave him, like, the blue dot, and I actually couldn't even tell if that was an enemy or not. Okay, right here. Nice little three-piece. Ooh! Let me know what you guys are currently thinking about Modern Warfare 2. So, for me... There's no way you're playing like that. I know a lot of you are curious. Dismo, Dismo, what, what do you think of Modern Warfare 2 right now? Should I get it? First things first, this is the beta. Things can change. Tons of things can change. My opinion on the game can change. Okay. Jump over here. Look at this. No, I gotta reload. Time out, time out, time out. Oh my god, I'm scared. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, what are you doing? You are terrifying. What are you doing, man? There's no way you're real. Guy up here. What are you? Oh my God, my team. I, dude, oh my God. <laughs> so from everything that I played out in LA, I'm gonna say this about the Modern Warfare 2's multiplayer. I actually thoroughly enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun playing this multiplayer and going into it, I was pretty skeptical. Oh my God, my accuracy was atrocious. Thank you. I was pretty skeptical on the multiplayer itself just because, you know, Modern Warfare 2019 isn't my favorite multiplayer, but this game plays similar, but at the same time, it seems like it plays a lot faster. The guns feel better. The movement is kind of different. I mean, people have already figured out how to slide cancel. The game's been out for literally one day. It's literally been out for one day and people have already figured out how to break the movement system. One. And of course, there's another one. When I played at the event, the game was incredibly fun. Incredibly fast. You know, we had all the pros, all the other content creators also playing incredibly fast, rushing around. This game kind of felt like a mixture of like a Black Ops Call of Duty as well as Modern Warfare 2019, if that makes any sense. So my general opinion of Modern Warfare 2 so far is that the multiplayer is fun. And I was actually surprised that I actually enjoy the multiplayer at the event so much. But take out the grain of salt because literally anything and everything could change. I could end up hating this game. I could end up loving it. It could be my favorite call of duty of all time my best advice to anybody that is curious if they're gonna like the game or not or if they should pre-order it is just wait for the open weekend there's gonna be an open beta weekend and anybody and everybody can play the game and you can just try it out for yourself i'm that guy no you're not throw that i should oh my um oh that's gonna be annoying 100 percent peek me again peek it again come on no way i'm gonna shock you bro Get out of here, bro. You're not going to do that to me. Oh, my God. There's so many over there. You know what? I'm going for it. Don't even care. There's one. Of course. Oh, my God. Double flash. Are you serious? You still got outgunned? Like, what are you doing? Oh, my God. I'm scared. He's right. Okay. Oh. Oh. I'm that guy. You're not that guy. Let's get this UAV up. Get out of here. Oh, what the fuck was that? <laughs> I'm looking forward to camo grinding this year because it's not going to be as much of a torture as it normally is. They ended up changing how your weapons leveled up and how you get certain attachments on your gun. For right now, if I'm understanding it correctly, all you have to do is unlock the attachment for one gun in that category of weapon. Let's just say I unlock a certain suppressor for like my AR. Every single AR that I have in the game will also have that attachment already unlocked. You don't have to level up every single weapon to 60, 70 just to get a... Okay, bro, there's no way. Are we playing like this? I, I guess it works. I think that's an amazing quality of life's change. The level grinding for weapons and just unlocking all these attachments to do camo challenges just wastes so much time. Like, it's so, like, unnecessary. And I'm so glad that they decided to switch it up and just make it, you know, more, more player-friendly, casual-friendly. I don't really know what you would call it, but it's going to save me a ton of time. Get out of here. I mean, I got carried as f that game. Oh, 
Oh, nice little quad feed, man. I mean, oh my god. Okay. Pick this bad boy up. Bro, I've killed the same guy three times. Come on. Like, show me another player. Oh, what are you doing? That is disgusting. We're already doing this. Seriously, bro. I will say out of everything that I saw at this COD Next event, surprisingly, Warzone was uh, the one that I'm the most kind of worried about. In my opinion, and once again, take this with like a grain of salt. I think Warzone 2, it definitely needs some work. It needs some adjustments. When I played it and like what we played, it just wasn't it for me. It... Oh my God. What are you doing? I wasn't a big fan of them having no loadouts. I wasn't a big fan of the looting system. That was like the biggest thing for me was the... Can you get out of here? I've killed you twice in here. The biggest thing for Warzone 2 that I didn't like was the looting system. It reminded me a lot of Blackout. And you know, Blackout was fun and all, but the looting system... Why are you right there, man? I think Warzone's looting system is fast, it's quick, it makes the game stay on pace. Okay. Bro, what is this movement? Bro, what the hell is that? I just felt like on Warzone 2, I was taking more time looting up because of how slow the looting system was. Oh, execution time. If I could compare Warzone 2's looting system, it would be to like Blackout and Apex Legends. You got to pick what you want to carry, which I, I'm fine with, to be honest. Original Warzone kind of spoiled us. You can kind of pick up whatever. You get one gas mask, you get one self-res. You know, that's it. You can pick up as much ammo as you want. In Warzone 2, you have more of a customizable inventory, which is fine. I just felt like it was like a lot more clunky. It was slow. It just didn't flow well for me. Obviously, all this can change. They can adjust a lot of things, make it better. Not again. Not again. Uh, and that's going to get so annoying. Perfect. You got fucked on, dude. No, I didn't. I literally killed you. Warzone 2 is definitely different. I don't know if, like, everyone's going to like it, but I'm definitely curious and interested to see how everybody plays Warzone 2 when it comes out in November. Get out of here. Ooh! Oh my god, I'm cracked. Oh! And he's shooting my body. <laughs> oh my god, I can't see. Oh my god, what are you doing? Peek me. Oh my god, another quad feed. Oh my god, I'm still cooking. Yo, keep feeding me the kills. Keep feeding it to me, bro. Oh my god. Bro, get out of here. Ooh! <laughs> I was frying, man. I like how this guy's not talking because he only got 12 kills. Aside from the looting and there not being any loadouts, there's a ton of like actual positive things that were also in Warzone. The map itself, the new map, I personally enjoyed it. It's pretty big, but I enjoyed it. It was colorful, it was vibrant. It wasn't like the standard gray color scale that, you know, Infinity Ward is known for having. They added proximity chat so you can hear enemy players in game next to you if they're talking in game. Proximity chat for a content creator and from a content standpoint is a gold mine. The amount of funny content you can get by just talking to the enemy in game that may be camping in a building above you is going going to be a hilarious as well as i thought the new zone mechanics were pretty sick standard one big circle and then during the match it can randomly split off into three separate circles so you have these mini fights within the bigger circle they all condense and close together and i thought that was pretty interesting at the end of the day i'm a multiplayer guy so don't take any of my opinion any of my opinions on warzone to heart because at the end of the day if i'm playing multiplayer that's all i care about it's the most fun for me personally anyway hope you guys enjoy this video and i'll see you guys in the next one peace why is my guy holding the shotgun like that? That is weird.